prizes. In a couple of days' time, we're going alongside in Wilmington, and we're going to do a 17 gun salute, obviously using the saluting guns. And here we've got the uh, gallant crew putting the guns together. Frank is having a bit of trouble getting the deck screw out. It's been a while since we used them. We'll come back on a bit further down the line. Meanwhile though, in the finest Blue Peter traditions, here's one we prepared earlier. It's basically an old three pounder gun. Mounted solidly on the deck, fires a nice big cartridge that makes a loud bang. Part of the reason we're filming this is a because it's uh, the chop sam is possibly his last ceremonial firing in the navy, unless we get another one on the way back somewhere. Secondly, because we're hoping to stitch up the DWO like a corker. As you're probably aware, these guns don't fire any rounds. Therefore, there's no need to pass a plug bore gauge. A plug bore gauge is a device you'd slide down the barrel to make sure that a shell would fit out, and therefore there's no obstructions. We've manufactured a plug bore gauge just for the DWO, and he's going to pass it. His name's down on the firing order, and it's even on the uh, Perhaps a firing chip to be signed by him. He's going to pass it by bore gauge, hopefully witnessed by the charge chief, by the maintainer, Frankie, by the captain, the XO, the POA, in fact anyone who can get up here has a reason to be here. For those people who can't get up here, the reason I'm making this video is so you may well get to see this too. And we'll probably let him have a copy as a memento. So then as you can see the gun breaks down into a few various parts. Frankie's just putting the legs on now through the deck screws. All we see here is in that bag you got the muzzle, uh, the barrel even, Frankie's armpit, and the trigger mechanism, breech, everything else, all in these nice modern canvas bags. It does smell a bit greasy actually, but that could be just Frankie. Uh, today's the date, it's uh, 25 past stupid o'clock on Friday morning, and it's time for the uh, firing the sorting guns. We didn't have a practice yesterday unfortunately, but today hopefully it will happen. It's only three gun salute, not 17 after all, and um, I'm going to be able to flash on. Then we're going to stitch up the DW. So here we are then on the GDP at half past six Friday morning on the way into Wilmington. Quite a nice morning as you can see. And down here we've got the uh, gun crew's briefing period. Shining right there. Showing them which end of the gun is which. It's a rather strange uh, People on the GDP, be a writer, be a steward, and a PO stoker. Have got bullets. Oh. Or not, as the case may be. Ah, Frankie, our illustrious maintainer. Rather smarter, less appreciable. Yeah. There's Frankie getting the uh, things loaded for the spare gun. All guns ready, all crew ready. Again, looking smart as usual.
gone again, see if I go through this door. From there then? There was a bitch on the uh, sub board, looks so. like. They might be just catching on that, I think. Right. Look, so, we're on here, sir. Just feel it. Feel about there. They might just be catching on that, I don't know. Is that any easier, Joe? Yeah. Can give us a close up on that, mate. through it to see that then. I can't eat it. Does it uh, why can't you just look through the barrel to see if that's clear? Yeah, because he needs to make sure it's the right diameter because it's clear. Because it will burn up over a series of time, especially if it's not cleaning. Right, yeah. So what kind of rounds are these fire then, sir? The fire blanks. So why do you need to pass the blood ball gauge? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you reckon? I think you've been had, sir. <laughs> the guns now. Yeah. 